Hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to YouTube channel and back to the series I began last year. Review most of 25 days of Christmas. We will be reviewing 25 different Christmas films. There may be more in there, we may do 31 depending on my schedule and how the year pans out. If you want to see any specific films, hit the channel. Um, let me know down below in the comments. Obviously, I did a lot last year, the likes of Polar Express, It's a Wonderful Life, Snowman, Christmas with the Cranks, them sort of films. But today, we are starting off with <clears throat> Arthur Christmas, one of my favorites, one of my all time favorite animates. Um, and yeah, subscribe and like as always. Be sure to check daily for the review most episodes today, episode one. Spoilers ahead and enjoy. <clears throat> So, Arthur Christmas is a terrific animation that tells the tale of Arthur, his brother Steve, Santa Claus, Grandpa Santa, the elves, and more. <clears throat> and the simple com concept is, is that Steve is going to take over from Santa after the hectic night at the start. Arthur's the, the, the silly one, and a present has been missed. The whole film seems like it's obvious that Steve will rectify this. He'll be the one to put it right. <clears throat> and then Arthur must just give in to it. But it's this journey of Arthur and Grandpa Santa going on this quest to make sure this kid has her present on Christmas Day. Arthur is such a likeable character who's voiced by an amazing actor, James McAvoy. With other brilliant characters like Hugh Larry voicing Steve. Um, and, you know, the, the, the line goes on. But I just think it's brilliant because you think it's going to be so obvious that Steve's going to be the one to rectify the situation, even though he's the one who's so against it. But eventually he caves in and everything comes together. You know, you get all this dialogue between Grandpa, Sampa, Santa, trying to bring back the old days with the original sleigh instead of the new spaceship style thing they use in the film at the start. Santa's a very lazy character, but it's good that he sees who the actual relate replacement for him should be by the end of the film. And you just go on this journey with Arthur more than anything with, you know, the young girl of the reindeers, uh, Grandpa Santa, um, see what it means to be Santa. And you learn all their personalities as the film goes on. You see who wants to get there for the right reasons or their own reasons in particular. And I just found Arthur Christmas to be a terrific, terrific watch from comical aspects to an adventure to... Celebrating the world of Christmas through the eyes of such an innocent soul in in Arthur. I think he's such a kind-hearted person. And the scene where he's riding the bike at the end with all the elves chanting him on after all the hate and stuff he sort of get, gets from him is brilliant. And I found the pacing of the film brilliant. The way they brought old and new attributes to the world of Santa Claus, the different generations, the arrogance of Steve. That was ultimately a downfall of him in the end. And the way Arthur becomes Santa Claus at the end of the film. You know, it's it's so good of how outcasted Arthur is at the beginning and how much of a leader he becomes at the end because of his passion for Christmas, because of his ability to care about one single kid that had been missed. The rest of them wanted to neglect that kid and leave it in the past, but he would do anything. And you see the segments of traveling around the world, the whole sleigh thing, the whole alien style thing, which is quite funny. Um... I think you see Grandpa Santa become mature and develop as the film goes on. He, you know, he sacrifices his sleigh and he learns a lesson or two for this film. Same with Santa, you know, he should have retired at the start of the film and gave the job to Arthur straight away. But instead, he wanted to go on longer. Steve should have been the pick because he is technically the best pick in the sense of getting things done, getting things in order and making sure everything's flowing well. But he did, in actuality, neglect the one kid and fail to deliver one parcel. So, you know, it's a terrific film for showing different personalities and what the true meaning of Christmas is. And for me, that's why this goes above and beyond a lot of films, because it's a different take on Santa, um, but whilst also having the traditional stuff in there that we're all used to. I loved Arthur. I loved the, the dynamics between him and the family and the little elf as well, who I thought was a really cool character. And a cool introduction to <clears throat> the world. Ardman did a fantastic job of bringing this to life. The animation is stunning, fantastic, colourful, vibrant and brilliant. Arthur Christmas is one of those ones that you have to put on your list every year. And to ensure you'll have a good Christmas, it has to be watched. Because it is so heartwarming, so heartfelt. And when he becomes Arthur Christmas, Santa Claus, at the end, 
it becomes a wholesome film with a perfect ending, with a perfect character becoming the heart and soul of Christmas. So a perfect 10 out of 10 for me. I had no flaws. I hated nothing about the film. It's pure enjoyment. And you you, you just you just rooting for Arthur every step of the way. I think that's the main thing, you know. <clears throat> There's no no other way of looking at it. you want this guy to succeed you want this guy to get to the um the house and to in in Trelu. Trelu. um but yeah absolutely brilliant film a fantastic watch an easy watch and Ardman, i don't think i've ever really failed in, a, in, in making a film or a show so go check it out for yourself it is a fantastic watch i do highly recommend it it's about hour and hour and a half or something like that so you'll easily fly through it if you have any more suggestions, do let me know down below, and I'll be sure to get around to them. So thanks for watching as always, and return for Reviewers Day 2 tomorrow. Goodbye.